So my name is Mariko Ano, and today I'll be talking about no drama, aesthetics, transmission, and individuality. And I hope you'll enjoy it, and I'll tell you about what we're going to do today. And hopefully, uh, you'll be able to join with me today. So the objectives of this course, or this lecture for today, is to um, talk, I know you've been talking about Japanese perspectives. And also, I hope to give you students hints to create a final product reflecting Japanese values, aesthetics, and ideas. So No itself is a traditional music theater of Japan. It's a comprehensive art form. So comprehensive meaning there's dance, there's drama, there's also singing, and also there's um, literature. There's a lot of things you can look at. So you can find your angle in various ways. So whatever you love, you can just hone in your skills there. So first of all, I want to talk about the stage. Obviously, we notice the stage, and what is unique about it? I'm actually move forward, and you can think about these things that you notice. And also, this is just showing you how it's seen from the top, the agemaku, people coming in from here, to the hashigakari, to the main stage. So mass, there are salient feature of no, is very restricted vision. Looking up, looks happy, and then look down, this is looks sad. So I'm going to have you sing along. You don't have to unmute, but you're going to sing along with me, right? I'm going to talk about the nokan and the no musical ensemble. But it creates the ambiance on stage. It creates the mood. We have here my favorite instrument, the nōkan, kotsuzumi, shoulder drum, and also otsuzumi, hip drum, and then we have the taiko, barrel drum. And fukikomi, shakuhachi like white noises, and half hole. And everything is done by the fingerings, right? Half hole or full hole. And I also want to talk about the role of the nōkan in traditional music. So it marks segments within a no. It creates the onstage ambience, we talked about it, by coloring the chant's musical line. So we heard, you know, the utai for yuya. And also plays a melody for dance music and instrumental music. But my takeaway for you today is no reflects the past and present through its performances. We saw a lot of traditional performances today and a nōkan contemporary performance. And then no is a living art form changing with the times transmitted from master to disciple. You know, things change because we're all living human beings. This is not a museum piece. So here we have to remember that um, even we maintain the old elements, there are new elements to interest the contemporary and modern audience as well. And individuality is expressed through the art form despite its rigidly, seemingly rigid structure, i.e. shoga, and there's freedom within the form. Okay, so those are my takeaways. But before I end, I want to talk about, I want to play Sagariha. This is a processional entrance music, usually in the second half. All right, here we go.